Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. My name is Harmon. Today's video is all about the pretty horrific murders dubbed the Bellevue Massacre. This happened on January 3rd and 4th of 1997. Uh, a family of four were murdered. It's pretty crazy. So I'm gonna show you guys uh, the location of where one of the victims was killed and then show you the house where the remaining victims were murdered and then uh, go from there. Pretty interesting, but of course pretty sad. So let's get into it. Again, like I mentioned, uh, these murders took place in Bellevue, Washington. Again, kind of a suburb or outskirts city of Seattle, maybe 20 minutes, 25 minutes outside the city. So like I mentioned, the murders took place on two different days, but it was really the night of January 3rd and the next morning of January 4th. So on January 3rd, 1997, 20-year-old Kimberly Wilson uh, was kind of lured to a nearby park uh, pretty close to her house. Um, she met up with two kind of acquaintances that she had known. Um, their names were David Anderson and Alex Baranyi. Th those two were 17 years old at the time of the murders. Uh, so Kimberly Wilson was uh, essentially meeting them there at the park. And that is when both 17-year-olds decided to kill Kimberly Wilson. Um, they ended up strangling her and beating her to death. Um, again, at the park, which I'm going to show you. After both of them killed Kimberly Wilson at the park, they decided to go to Kimberly's house, which is only about a half mile away, uh, to go kill Kimberly's sister and mother and father, as they both presumed that the family may have known that uh, Kimberly was going to go meet them at the park that night. So they wanted to essentially eliminate all the witnesses that may have known that they were going to talk to Kimberly that night. So they arrived at the house and got inside and ended up murdering the family. So Rose Wilson, Kimberly's mother, uh, was found in bed in the master bedroom. Um, she had been stabbed multiple times in the throat and her head had been crushed by a pretty heavy object. Near the foot of the bed was Kim's father named Bill Wilson, who had pretty similar injuries. Um, then they found the body of, again, Kim's 17 year old sister named Julia, uh, who was discovered in the hall. Um, she appeared that she may have been able to kind of defend a little bit against both David and uh, Alex, uh, but unfortunately she also was murdered. Uh, one of her arms was broken and both her head and neck had been stabbed multiple times as well. So as you can imagine, uh, pretty horrific murders of the Wilson family. Both of the perpetrators, David and Alex, were both high school dropouts. So they didn't really have much going on in their lives, except a weekly hangout um, at Denny's, the restaurant, which was uh, pretty close nearby. They would hang out with a bunch of people, including Kimberly Wilson. They dubbed it kind of like a Saturday night Denny's club, where they talked about different role-playing games, including ones that, of course, were pretty uh, bloody and gory. And so that is how Kimberly Wilson knew uh, the perpetrators and vice versa, of course. So after the murders of the Wilson family, uh, detectives, of course, talked to anyone who knew the Wilsons and that led them to, of course, both David and Alex. Um, after talking to Alex, he claimed that he strangled Kimberly Wilson in the park on that night and that uh, he realized that she may have told her family or someone may have told her family that they were going to meet her there at that park that night. And so he decided to go with his friend, David Anderson, 
to go kill the remaining family members. However, it was determined that both David and Alex were there the night before when they both killed Kimberly. One of them strangled Kimberly while the other one beat her to death. Baranyi also told police that he had wanted to kill someone for a very long time and uh, that he was kind of stuck in a rut and just wanted to hurt someone. All right guys, so we're at this little park, uh, again, about a half mile away from the Wilson household. And this little park is where Kimberly Wilson lost her life that night. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's a giant water tower right here that they're working on. So it might be a little loud, but I'm just gonna quickly show you guys. Some kids, I believe, uh, were in this park the next day after Kimberly was killed. And they were the ones that found her body and again, it was somewhere in this little park. Um, her body was found kind of stuffed into some of these bushes. So Kimberly, of course, 20, had graduated from the same high school that her sister, Julia, again, 17, was attending. So Julia was a senior uh, in high school. Her friends described her as a pretty sweet but shy young girl. The Wilsons did have some domestic disturbances in the past, including one that escalated to where 911 was called. However, it looks like nothing really came out of that. Um, several witnesses uh, stated that they saw two boys leaving the Wilson house together at the time of the murders. Um, also, when they searched the Wilson house again, they found two different kinds of bloody footprints. Uh, they, of course, found bloody shoes in Alex's possession, along with uh, some more DNA found um, that, of course, linked them both to the murders. Both David and Alex were charged with murder in the first degree. They were both sentenced to four consecutive life terms without the possibility of parole. All right, guys, so we're walking up to the former Wilson household where they were murdered at. And again, it's at 1521 121st Avenue Southeast, again, here in Bellevue. All right, guys, this is it. This was the former Wilson household where three of the four victims were murdered at. Again, just senseless violence, you know? I mean, the, the you know, mom and dad and, you know, Kimberly's sister, Julia, they of course had no clue that something bad would happen not only to Kimberly, but to them, you know, not, not too long after, a couple hours later, of course. Just incredibly tragic. All right, guys, well, again, that pretty much wraps it up. I wanted to make sure I showed you guys both locations they all were buried actually in portland oregon i don't know if they had family down there or extended family down there but all four of them were buried down in portland oregon and so i unfortunately can't make make it down to that area to film the graves for you as that's like three and a half hours four hours plus away from me right now and again i just don't have that kind of time maybe someday when i can get down to the area would like to film the graves for you if you're new around here again my name is harman uh, make sure you subscribe and until next time thanks for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one